What attracted you to um, this movie? I liked, when I first read the script, I was surprised by how honest it was about, um, I guess you could call it jokey racism, especially in the school system, because I go to UCLA, and I'll go to parties sometimes, and it's funny how you can kind of get away with cer saying certain things to people that you know are kind of offensive, but because it's masked in a joke and fun in, pl and in, fun in play, you can kind of get away with it, and so it's kind of nice to show, like, no, it's, it's a serious issue, and it does actually bother people. Now, aren't you kind of weirded out for the fact that you're a white person in a black movie, that they're making a satire of white people in a black movie? Yeah, I certainly don't bring a, a good light to white people, that's for sure. Well, also, I mean, people know it's a comedy and it is a satire, and it, I mean, it's always fun to poke fun at yourself, you know what I mean? I'm Irish, one of my best friends who's Mexican calls me potato, like, I think that's funny. And so, it, it was fun to be a part of it and to um, satirize myself, basically, or pieces of myself, not completely. Now, one of the things that this movie is, is I believe your character is the girlfriend to a black person yeah. in the film, so that actually shows a difference of uh, interracial dating, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and it, I really liked it because my character, Sophie, in it really does love her boyfriend, Troy. Oh, well, he's one of the posters over there. She really does love him, but because she's a little bit ignorant of situations, sometimes she says the wrong thing, and she doesn't mean it in a mean way. She just is, she's unaware of kind of social graces. But it was nice. It was nice to kind of have an interracial relationship in it. And I, oh my God, the actor that plays Troy is so sweet and he was so fun to work with. Now, since you, since you go to UCLA yourself, do you actually experience these type of things where you hear about these fraternity parties throwing these, you know, like blackface or Latino themed parties or UCSD having the koala satire or even that Asian girl, uh, not that white girl from UCLA who made that Asian rant about, you know, on YouTube? I mean, how do you feel about all that? It's funny because I haven't, I only went to two frat parties ever at UCLA and so I don't see it too much, but I end up hearing about it like the day after. And I just think like, people, come on, like, it's 2014, we got into this school, like you have some level of intelligence, use that intelligence, not for your application, and for real life. And I just, I think street skills and common sense sometimes is more important than getting an A on your paper. And when you don't apply that to real life, it's just like, come on fellow UCLAers, get, get, get with it. So are you hoping that more, hopefully more white people will see this movie then? Yeah, I hope so. I hope all different races come to see it because it is an educational experience while also being hilarious. Terrific. And uh, what are your, some of your future projects uh, from, from now on after, after this? I'm recurring on an NBC show called Chicago Fire, and then I have another movie coming out in theaters later this year called Exeter, and that's uh, that's a horror film. Oh, really? What, what do you play in it? I play the main girl in it, and so there's a lot of a lot of crazy stuff that happens around me, and a lot of screaming and blood, and what you'd expect, really. Terrific. That sounds exciting. Hey, appreciate the interview. Thank you. Thanks.